Hey Warriors, it's Pro Warriors here, back with something that truly hits home. Yuzu, the emulator that's brought Nintendo Switch games alive on PC and Android, has been more than just software for me. It's our bridge to a whole new gaming world, right here on our screens. I know some of you are just discovering Yuzu, and let me tell you, there's nothing like experiencing Nintendo classics in full, smooth performance on your own setup. So, in today's video, I'm diving deep, showing you step-by-step step how to unlock that magic. Trust me, by the end, your PC will feel like a Nintendo Switch. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. It's time to level up. Before downloading this emulator, please check the minimum system requirements to make sure your machine meets them. One more important piece of information. This emulator requires the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++. If you're unsure whether your PC has it, download and install Microsoft Visual C++. Check the description for links. The Yuzu emulator is available on Windows, Linux, and Android operating system. I already made a couple of videos for Yuzu Android. Check the description for more information. Now I'm going to install the Yuzu emulator on my Windows machine. So I'll click on the Nintendo Windows button here. Oops, the site is down. After facing a lawsuit, Yuzu had to shut down its website, Discord, and GitHub, making it nearly impossible to access. But after some digging, I managed to get the file from a Yuzu mirror site. Check the description for more information. Once the download finishes, we need to extract the file because it comes in a zip. If you don't have an extractor on your PC, download 7-Zip, a reliable and free zip extractor. Right-click on the file, go to 7-Zip, and extract the Torzu Windows zip. Once it's done extracting, you'll get a folder containing all your extracted files. Now delete the zip file from your desktop, then double-click on the newly extracted Suyu folder. Inside, you'll find an executable file with a unique icon, which is the yuzu.exe file. Before we launch the Yuzu emulator, we need three elements to run it. I have these elements ready on my desktop. Product keys, firmware, and Nintendo Switch games. Don't worry, I'll show you how and where to find these files. Let's go ahead and double-click to launch the Yuzu emulator. Opening it brings back memories of the old days with that familiar user interface. When you first launch the Yuzu emulator, you'll see a message saying that encryption keys are missing. Without them, Yuzu won't let you play any games. There's no need to worry about this warning because we're going to install our keys. First, go to the file menu at the top left, open the Yuzu folder, then open the keys folder, and paste both the prod and title keys there. Now we're going to install the firmware. To install firmware, go back to the file menu, open the Yuzu folder, then go to the NAND folder, then the system folder, and finally the contents folder inside the last registered folder. We need to paste all the firmware files. The Yuzu firmware file also comes as a zip, and Yuzu doesn't support zip files, so we need to extract it and then delete the zip file. Select everything by pressing Ctrl plus A on your keyboard, then drag or copy-paste all the files into the emulator folder. The initial setup of the emulator is complete. Let's install games on the Yuzu emulator. To add games, double-click on the Add New Folder option, which will open your file manager. Navigate to the folder where you've stored the Nintendo Switch games you own. Make sure the files are in the correct format, NSP or XCI. We're almost ready to launch a game, but there are a couple of things we still need to do. Go to Emulation at the top bar, then down to Configuration. First, go to General Settings, where you'll see options for hotkeys. If you want to set up keyboard hotkeys, feel free to do so. Other options aren't as crucial, so let's move on to System. Here you can set your region, language, time zone, etc. You can set RAM to 8GB, but I recommend using 6GB. Another important setting is to disable Limit Speed Percentage to use the maximum resources. Under CPU, always set Accuracy to Auto to avoid unwanted errors. Next, let's adjust the graphics settings. I find that Vulkan works best for NVIDIA or AMD graphics cards, though OpenGL is an option if you prefer. Make sure your graphics card is selected. If you want to change the screen ratio, adjust the aspect ratio here. You can also increase the resolution up to 8K, but I suggest using your monitor's native resolution to avoid crashes and bugs. Let's check advanced settings. The accuracy level affects graphics quality. 
If you notice stuttering in some games, you may want to go back to advanced graphics settings and change the accuracy level from high to normal, only if you encounter issues while playing. Now let's go down to controls. You'll see options for player 1, 2, and 3, which support different controllers. The default control method is set to keyboard. If you're using a controller, select it under input device. If you want to change the keys, assign your preferred keys here. I found the default keys to be perfect, and make sure the control mode is set to docked mode. Once you're done, click save. Now let's launch a game and start playing. Just double click on the game, and as you can see, Hollow Knight is running smoothly on Yuzu with excellent frame rates. There's hope that other developers might step up and continue what Yuzu has started. Yuzu has made a real impact in the emulation community, and it won't be forgotten. Let's appreciate what it brought us and look forward to future possibilities. That's it guys, see you in the next video. Take care.